was in the air. I'm so excited. I can't hardly stand it. Let me tell y'all, I'm so tired of the sweating and the hot and the heat. And oh my goodness, and fall is in the air, but guess what's coming back? This weekend, we're going to have 86 degree temperatures again. Goodness gracious sakes alive. But let me tell you, fall will come back. So I'm so excited. And we were just talking about it's apple season, it's leaf season. It is time for you to get out and come to these beautiful, beautiful mountains. And we would love to see your smiling faces up here. We would love to welcome you to come to our many restaurants, our beautiful wineries. We have so many facilities that are just open for business and ready to see you. We are still suggesting that you do social distancing. And um, you might notice I don't have a guest today. I'm being very, very select about who comes into the studio. I have um, a list of 10 people that I knew who passed away in the last 10 days. That is very scary to me. So I am being super cautious. I'm being super careful. I'm being super sanitary, you know, just trying to really do well. I am still not wearing a mask because I have breathing issues and that causes a problem. But I'm doing social distancing and I'm trying to be really, really good. I hope that you can stay healthy. Um, today I'm able to share something with you and now that I see so many people passing away, I know a 27-year-old who passed away over the weekend and left two tiny children behind. There are so many people in much, much younger than me, um, as young in their 20s, in their 30s, in their early 40s. So many people are losing their life to COVID. It makes life even more precious for you to realize that we have to be happy and be, be good to each other in every moment that we have with each other because it could be our last moment. And I think about the Patterson family in Jasper. You know, um, Layla lost a husband. Um, the children lost a dad. And this was healthy, happy, good, hardworking guy who everybody loved, and he's gone now. And then I think about another, our family member, she was older, but she got COVID. I think about this and I think about, did we, were we good to them until the last moment of their life? Did we appreciate the time we spent with them? I hope that we do. And so today I'm gonna share something with you because everybody knows the tragedy of how my daughter passed. Um, I've relived a million times my last phone conversation with her. Did you say the right things? Did you tell her you loved her? Did you do all these things? We are seeing now somebody feels bad and then two days later is full-blown COVID, ends up in the hospital and doesn't come home. We're all reliving those last conversations. Did you tell them you love them when they left for work that day? Did you tell them, I appreciate that meal you fixed for me? Did you tell them, hey, honey, thank you for, for fixing the barn? Did you, did you do any of the things that we now are thinking of more? I think we're thinking that that last moment could happen to any of us and I'm seeing it over and over and over. So yeah, I'm being super sensitive and super cautious. I don't like a lot of people in here right now. This is kind of my party central right here and I'm being very careful about it because I understand that this is not just attacking old people in nursing homes. This stuff is attacking everybody. So I'm, I'm gonna beg you, please, gather together with your friends and family at a distance. Tell them you love them if you talk to them on the phone. If you wanna prepare a meal for them and you feel like you're, you know, n nothing wrong with you, then do that. Share something with somebody that you love because we are learning that those loved ones may not be here tomorrow. And it has just, it's been a big reality check for me. Today, Leah and I were talking and Leah had COVID last year and I had COVID last year. And we both still have breathing issues and we both, I still have those headaches and sometimes I get that severe neck pain. And it's very, very weird because it's been seven months now for me, seven and a half months since I had COVID, but I still have some lingering weird stuff. So I still have antibodies and I just feel like this stuff needs to be addressed and handled carefully. And so I'm not bringing, I brought in two guests last week, Charlie and Daniel, and we kind of kept our distance. And now I'm over a little bit further today. I'll go back if I have a guest because 
I just, I want to be here. I want to be here. I want to be here for Riker's life. I want to be here for all the things. And speaking of Riker's life, Tim, have we got a little bit of footage of Riker we can share today? I have got, I swear y'all, I look forward to those Tuesdays so much. We have been doing cooking, 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 cooking. And we've been making bread pudding. And, and we're going to get to share some of that with y'all. But I've learned in the last few months, seeing those goodbyes at a funeral home, we don't need to second guess like I did with my daughter. I had a conversation with her at 6 o'clock in the evening. She died the next morning at 3.36 or 3.46. And I've, I've relived that conversation a million times. Did I say the right things? Did I talk to her? Did I, was I okay? Did I support her? You know, what went wrong? And in all honesty, she was battling major depression. She had so many things going on. But today, I chose a couple of really happy programs. I chose probably my favorite ever of the days that me and Freddie and Angela and Cheyenne were here. We had just a great, great day. And then I chose the live show at Lawson Chevrolet. And I chose it for a reason today because I realized that I pulled up in my new black Suburban that day and Diane Green pulled up in my other black Suburban. I've always had a black Suburban. Well, I've gone through a little dry spell for a while and I didn't have a black Suburban. Well, guess what? I got another one. So I'm back to driving black Suburbans. But I think about the happy times and I'm so fortunate that I have all this footage of my daughter. And, um, you know, we're living life every day with this in our hand. Capture the moment of your family. Video your grandmother. Video your grandchildren. I video Riker to a point. He's like, nanny, enough. But, but you know that this is what we will have left. I'm so fortunate that I do have these videos left. And we're going to be able to share two of them today, and I'm really excited about it. We also want to ask everybody to pray for those families that are hurting. Um, I know several people now who are still in the hospital with COVID. I know people who just left a funeral home last week. I know people who successfully beat COVID. But it is, it is not, um, it's very, very strange how it is attacking. And it is, it is getting every single age group from the 20s, even a 17-year-old, from the 20s to the 30s to the 40s, we have got to address this. And I think the best way to address it is to do the social distancing. And that's kind of awkward because I was talking about that yesterday and I said, I am a hugger. I just, I hugged everybody. I haven't hugged anybody in almost two years. And I think about that and that is just very, very strange for me. It's not even natural for me because I'm a big hugger. And during this time, I have kind of taken over it's really weird, like I had nothing else to do. I've taken over the helping to care for a 76-year-old, and I've been very worried about her coming down with COVID because she, I had to put her in a facility, and one, one patient at the facility did have COVID. But so far, everything's good. And uh, I went to take her some supplies on Saturday, and I was worried about it, and I think about it, and I took her out to lunch for her birthday. And we were spending time laughing and talking and visiting. And then I thought, darn it, that COVID is coming back again because we don't know who it's going to attack. But we do know that we have to protect ourselves and our children. And, and you make the decision what works for you. Do you want your child to wear a mask? Do you wear a mask? Whatever, whatever works for you. But what works for me is just doing social distancing, keep everything wiped down. I've bought every Clorox wipe known to man. I've wiped down, rubbed down, uh, you know, just trying, trying, trying to stay healthy and to, to make it through this. And I, I pray that each and every one of you are taking care of yourselves because there are so many families, so many families that are hurting. And um, a, a young man in his 50s passed away last week and, and everybody knew him and loved him and just a good, good guy. And, you know, it got him. I don't know. I don't know what is a deciding factor. I know that God knows and um, that we have to expect and respect that our life is his and um, we just have to do the best that we can. So let's pray for each other. I also want to ask you to pray for a couple of people. One of them had surgery and she's doing very, very well, had knee replacement. And the other one was scheduled for surgery and they have had to change it and move it up a month. He is not doing very well with this. 
and that is detective, uh, retired detective Paul Nelson. You met him here on the program. He is Riker's uncle, and he is a big, huge teddy bear, a hoot, a great, great, sweet, sweet man, but he is battling with a lot of back issues and a lot of pain and a lot of things that are happening that he hoped would get fixed last week, but they've had to move his surgery up. So, so please pray for Paul and pray for my dear sweet friend Shirley because she had um, her knee worked on and she had done with the robot, which I think is very interesting. I would love to be able to video that. I don't think she'd want you to do that, but I think it'd be really cool to see a robot going in there and working on you. So that's, that's kind of weird, but it's pretty cool and it's, it's pretty techno-neak. So, all right, guys, we're going to take a commercial break. And when we come back, um, I love being able to share people who are gone. Dub Lawson has gone to be with the Lord. Um, sweet, sweet Juanita Wilkie has gone to be with the Lord. Diane Green has gone to be with the Lord. And this is a day that we all gathered together at Lawson Chevrolet. Lawson Chevrolet is no longer there. Now it's Day Chevrolet. But we think about the history and the family of the Lawson. They meant so much to so many and still continue to do the same. Uh, Miss Jeanette is still with us, and, and we are just so, so blessed to have known and loved this family for so long. So when I started pulling out, what do I want to share with folks? Dub Lawson had to be at the top of the list, so here we go. Good morning. Welcome to North Georgia Now Today, and we are live from Lawson Chevrolet in Jasper, Georgia. Yes, we are. We are so excited, but where is our host, Miss Sherry Martin? I bet she dropped up there in one of those new Corvettes or something. What do you I, think? I bet she is. She is a speed demon, you know. Yeah, and she may leave here with one, reckon? Well, she <laughs> might. I, I hope she does, because I hope I get to drive it. <laughs> She's been known to leave with a bunch of stuff, so. I know. She is probably perhaps in the uh, Chevrolet, uh, Lawson that she got from Lawson Chevrolet. It's a widow wagon, the big suburban. Yeah, the She's widow. Out the widow have y'all seen the widow wagon? The widow wagon is parked outside somewhere. In fact, I think it's rolling up behind us out here. Yeah, yeah, widow wagon yeah. one and two. Uh huh. <laughs> and we want to thank Lawson Chevrolet for letting us be here today and hosting us. And what do we always say? If we ain't eating, we ain't meeting. That's <laughs> right. And I understand we have a lot of good yes, food we today. Do. And I guess so. we need to thank everybody that's helped to make mm -hmm. this possible. Mm -hmm. um, of course, Lawson Chevrolet, we want to thank them. Blue Star Supermarket, we want to thank them. Yep. Um, Annie's for the food. Um, Mama May Camps for some of the cakes and some of the giveaways. Uh, more furniture. Deb's Mom, Bakery. Deb's Bakery. Good morning, Sherry Martin. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Welcome. Where have Welcome. you been? Oh, driving the widow wagon. Let's get you to picked up a bunch of widows this morning? I, I did not, but Diane Green did. <laughs> <laughs> Diane did, and it is a wonderful day. The mountains are clear, and Chris, Ann, sit down a minute. Well, Here, I'll, I'll trade with uh -uh, you. Uh-uh, you sit down. Y'all are going to work. <laughs> you know, they never earn their money. Never. Yes, they oh, do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. You know why? Yes, they do. Because well, we right. don't ever get a chance to talk. That's exactly right. I knew he'd say that. Well, this is going to be a great day. Yes, it is. It's beautiful it's gonna out be a, today. It's going to be a great day, and I can tell you everything is going to be perfect. The food's going to be perfect. The interviews are going to be perfect. The music, maybe not yet. We had to send back to LJ to get an extra mic. So music's going to start a little bit later than I thought. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. Y'all go ahead and do your job, and I'm just going to watch for a few minutes. But I am going to ask one quick question. Who loves Dale Earnhardt Sr.? Me, me, <laughs> me. Who loves Kyle Busch? Woo! <laughs> But who won the race on Sunday? Watkins Glen doesn't count. It's a road uh -oh, course. She don't like. She it's don't like road Watkins, courses. It's a road okay. course. But Watkins Glen does not count. No. Is it on now, Adam? Technical difficulties. Have y'all ever heard of technical okay. difficulties? This is live. This is, live. <laughs> this is what happens. Now we never have technical Adam? difficulties. Just keep going. Okay, we're going. <laughs> well, it's technical difficulties. Welcome to the live show. We are live Monday through Friday from LJ, Georgia normally. We have been out in your community now. This makes five, yeah, I believe so. five mm -hmm. trips. We love it. We love seeing all your faces. We love the fact that you come back show after show. And today, Matt and Melton are going to talk to some of you who have been to every single show. Yeah, and that's awesome. And we want to know where you came from. 
and do you tune in every day? Obviously. Mm -hmm. I hope you do. Mm -hmm. I hope they do. And um, do you have a favorite co-host? I don't because I love them all. I love them all. <laughs> Everybody has stepped up to the plate. Everybody has done their job, which makes my job easier. And y'all made my job really, really easy because I show up every day and I get to visit with you in your homes. Now, most of y'all are sitting there in your PJs, drinking coffee. I have to get dressed every day, you know? Maybe one day we'll do a show from my house in my pajamas. That is not a pretty sight. That, that would be fun. Like at Christmas, we could do a PJ Christmas yeah. show. Okay. I bet. I'm not yeah. working Christmas. I, I bet I know what color your PJs are. Pink and black. Pink and black. Pink Pink and black. They are. How did you know that, Melissa? Uh -oh. Have you been in my drawer when no, you cut my when grass? I cut, when I cut your grass, you hang all your clothes out on the yeah, line. That's what so. it is. That's what it is. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome to... Okay. We're not sure what's going on with that DVD, and we have a little bit of problem with volume. So we're going to take that out, and we're going to go to a program I promised you. Um, makes me smile every time I see it. Um, I remember the day we walked down the hall. I remember that day Angela was here. She was so excited. We were going to talk racing. We were going to talk fun. We were going to have a great day. Nick was watching a program with me about one o'clock in the morning the other night and he said, my God, my sister was so pretty and she was so sweet and she was so full of life and why did she do this? Depression causes people to do things that if they weren't depressed, they would never even think about doing. And um, I have been on a medication lately that was worrying me to death because it kept making me have really, really bad dreams. Well, I had a video conference with my doctor and I said, I'm getting off this stuff because I now understand that it can take you down and you can, um, I had horrible dreams and I was getting a little bit down and worried and I thought I can't do this. So I understand that sometimes people get in a depressed mood because of either medication they're taking or life circumstances, but I will never understand the choice that my child made. When you watch this video and you see her beautiful blue eyes and you see her vibrant, gorgeous smile it is very hard to understand that deep down inside she was battling depression. We know so many people who have done the same thing. Um, sadly, one of her best friends committed suicide. We have seen people give up on life and I am asking each and everybody out there, if you are battling depression, if there is something that makes you sad and makes you feel unworthy, please seek help. Please don't leave a family like my daughter left us. We all still miss her so much, but I get to share her with you once again. And so today, this is my favorite forever North Georgia Now today. And it was a day that we all walked in the studio. We were happy, we were having a great time. We were leaving here and going up to the Blackberry Ridge Eatery. We did a couple of Heart of the Homes in LJ or in Fannin County that day. We had such a great, great time. And those are the memories you have to hold on to because as I'm sitting here, there's a family somewhere that's going to be hurting just like I am. But you can remember and you can record their voices, you can record their actions, and you will have that to keep. And I think that's, it's more precious to me than I ever dreamed it would be. So sit back now and you're going to get to see my favorite North Georgia Now today. Your period. Because she had the thing. She even opened a jar. No, she has been sicker than a dog. But you're really feeling a little bit better? Yes. But it was a virus, I like a 36 sick. hour or something? I was actually sick for, from Thursday. Last Wednesday week. Wednesday it started. Yeah, mm -hmm. Thursday, Friday. Loretta, how Saturday. tight did you feel that? Sure, can you out that? That's crazy. Lord have mercy. My Angela wants a cracker to try Miss Loretta's pear preserves. Cracker, heck, I got, God gave me fingers. <laughs> I okay. Sick, I sick my you fingers. haven't been eating much because you've been very, very sick. Doesn't it smell so good? good? I need yeah. a spoon. <laughs> I need Somebody a spoon. Somebody find us a spoon. Hello. Well, we brought no, you. No, I haven't been eating very much. No, so you've been feeling really poorly. I will poorly. try it, but uh, well, it we, smells yummy. We brought you in today, even on your desk door. I better. Because Cheyenne's here, and you mm -hmm. and Cheyenne have something in common. What is it? Racing. 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 Yes. Racing. Now, Cheyenne's dad. I, would I don't know if she roots for the right person, though, or not. Who do you root for? Um, Denny Hamlin. Who so do you root for? <laughs> my little Kyle, but he's having Kyle, all the time. Kyle, poor right? baby. <laughs> he's having the worst time. Oh, you know, sometimes bad things happen to bad people. <laughs> <laughs> 
But your dad worked in Daytona the day of the big wreck when Kyle Busch tore it up, caused the wreck himself, tried to overtake the lead. Let's be I, I, Yeah, I don't think it was completely his fault. <laughs> feeling this my stomach so tender but I, uh, I gotta be careful taste be cautious okay aren't they good mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> and that's what I was wanting in my mouth that pear gritty sweet <laughs> all in you one got it. You yes got it. I got it thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you Miss Loretta I'm gonna take one more bite now we are gonna use those on heart of the home today no yes 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 Today's I'll eat the smell, not the Don't eat that milk. much. You'll get, you've oh been, you haven't eaten in days. I know. I really have. You know, I lost 10 pounds in a week. I know. I know. You were sick, was, sick, sick. So I'm entitled to eat this, y'all? She was one sick girl. And, and I was afraid, honestly, they would put her in the hospital. Mm. I figured today you would be watching this from Piedmont Mountain. Oh, my Mountain God, side. that's good. It's got that chunky <laughs> pear in it. I love it. Okay, Miss Loretta, you hit a home run. Yeah. As always. As yeah. always. And I think losing 10 pounds, I can gain a pound back. Yeah, so. yeah. Now let's talk about what, why did Dumb. you, all of a sudden you woke up one morning and said, my mom's not a complete idiot, I'm going to watch racing too. You thought we were crazy because we were obsessed with racing. Well, it was the M&M car that got me to watch them. Mm -hmm. Because, boy, am I country or got me to watch them. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon? Yeah. So, hey, and you know what I mean, darling, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, last night we were listening to Loretta and it was uh, country, what is it? That song about, I was a little bit country. What is if that you're song? looking at me. If you're looking at me, you're looking at country, and I said, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> it's kind of like I'm a little bit rock and roll. But the M&M car is what attracted me because, of course, if anybody's been to my house, they know I have you a gazillion m, &M. m things in my kitchen. Well, I saw the car, and I was like, oh, my God, that's the coolest car. Well, I started watching the driver, and I'm thinking, hmm, Kyle Busch, he's not bad to look at. <laughs> well, love the car. Love the driver to look at. All of a sudden, he's winning, mm -hmm. and he's winning, and he's winning. Yeah. Last season, yes, of course. Yes, last season. <laughs> but <laughs> so that's how I got into racing. And Cheyenne was born into racing because her daddy mm -hmm. worked many NASCAR races, mm -hmm. doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Now, how did he get involved in that? He's very fortunate uh, well, to be able to do he this. Was, he just kind of tried forever to get on to like to be able to work the races, and then he finally started out to like they finally told him that he could come and try it so he did and he liked it a lot so he started going more and more and now he's a crew chief at the truck which kind of just <laughs> that is too cool tell people like how like you know just help like just instruct the guys yeah. so when he got that call that day was he like woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah baby go baby i got the job i mean i would be just crazy who was the person who worked the kyle bush wreck at daytona did your dad get to work that at all my dad got Casey Kane. Okay. Kyle Busch ran and Casey Kyle Kane Busch. ran, yeah, yeah, he was running. He didn't mean to. Oh, no. yeah, right. <laughs> Casey yeah. Kane helped him to the finish line, though. Yes. So he did get yes. his 14. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, um, your dad travels how many races a year? Um, usually about, like, six. Okay, and during the time you've been with him, you have watched a lady who is involved in NASCAR media. And all of a sudden, you realize that you, as a young girl, you could have a career in NASCAR media, couldn't you? Yeah. What do you think about it? Do you think you're going to go for it? Um, I'm going to try, um, but I just really want to do something that involves NASCAR because I really like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, we went to see Tyler Spear yesterday. Have you seen Tyler? He's been on this show, and he'll be on next Friday again. Have you ever seen him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's, He's nice cute, guy. isn't he? He is the cutest kid, he and is he is, he's like smart, A-plus student, built his own car. He is what's attracting your generation to racing. He's an all-together package. He's, he's not a smart aleck. There are a couple of guys out there on the racetrack that don't have good attitudes. Mm -hmm. And I think in order to market NASCAR today, you ha like Kyle Busch, yeah, <laughs> you've got to have a total package. And Who Tyler's said, here. Did somebody say something <laughs> smart in your ear? I mean... <laughs> I don't like Kevin. Kyle Busch either. <laughs> well, 
in order to I love you, Kevin. <laughs> love <laughs> past tense. He loves you too. Sponsors are really tough on money now. So in order to spend twenty million dollars a year, you have to have a whole package. Joey Logano, Home Depot is spending Joey tons Logano of money. Joey Logano is impressing me he's though. Doing, he's doing good. He's Joey a great Logano driver. Joey Logano is doing very well driving. Great driver, bad attitude. Well, he he's a kid though. He's right, he's, exactly. You know. Tyler Spears a kid. You yes. want to argue this point? No. You're not going to win because no. you have to package the whole thing. Right. You have to, and when Tyler walks in here, he will have on a suit next Friday, won't oh, he? Oh, yeah. He always yeah. does, yeah. yeah. he always does. Yeah. He made that decision to be completely marketable, and mm -hmm. that's very, very smart. Because and the, he signed my shirts and my number did. one fan. He did, <laughs> he did. Well, we went down to see his mom yesterday. Dan Elliott was down there, and they were both down. I love down. Dan. He's precious. He is the nicest down there. He is the guy. nicest guy. Mm -hmm. They will both be here next week, and we'll be talking a We're lot of racing. We're friends with Dan Elliott. Can yeah. Can't that? <laughs> we love Dan. But um, it's going to take getting attention to get anything in NASCAR today because the companies are cutting back on sponsorship mm -hmm. down to nothing. Mm -hmm. A lot of cars are running around with nothing on their hoods. That's scary. Yeah, yeah, that's scary. Yeah. Does that mean 120,000 fans might be sitting in the seats one day and there not be as many cars as have been out there? Probably. Scary. One thing that I am because 120,000 people still go to a race every oh, yeah. week. I mean, but it doesn't matter. It's expensive, man. Yeah. Yes, it is. And, it's but at like Daytona, they they didn't sell any seats on the back stretch. I saw and that. And there wasn't. There was just like I saw not, that. even on the front stretch, not all the seats were sold. Yeah. Either. Wow. Yeah, we were. I was watching it, and you could see that back stretch, mm -hmm. and I said, "Why are all those bleachers empty?" Well done. And last year, at the 500, I think it was completely full. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a sign yeah. of the times, and and what did diesel go down to last night? Was it two thirty six or something? Two thirty five, maybe. Two thirty five is the lowest I've seen it. Yeah, and and this time last year we were paying over four dollars for diesel, yeah. so it made yeah. a difference in what people are doing. Mm -hmm. And if you're driving from Jasper to Daytona, yeah, yeah, it yeah. takes a, it takes a little mm -hmm. bit of money to do that. One thing though, I. I'm a subscriber to a few NASCAR magazines. Yeah, just a few. <laughs> and one came yesterday, and it had a picture of Dale and his daddy on the front. Uh -huh. And it was talking about how people are getting tired of the blame game of all the pressure on Junior because of who Daddy is. <laughs> well, and Daddy it's was. It's like, uh -huh. absolutely. Dial, uh, dial. Daddy and Mr. Petty are the only two to ever seven do time seven babies. times. Right. Okay, when, Junior, you know, quit crying because <laughs> who your daddy was. It's not all this pressure. And, you know, either you can get in the car, you can drive it, or you can't. Evidently, he his can car, drive, but his he, car. He does not agree. His driving style does not agree with the cars they're driving now. So go to the house. Uh -uh. You know? Yeah, the he boy, is not as good. You're going to rip tell me. He's not and I'm good. so tired of I'm going to go to the break it's, room. It's the <laughs> pressure. It's the pressure. They want me to be like my daddy. No, nobody expects you when you're one of two drivers in the whole history of NASCAR to be a seven-time champion. Right. Nobody's <laughs> expecting Junior to do that. But people are getting tired of Junior being a web boy. Go wear your Wranglers and go home. But listen, who, who is the most popular driver in NASCAR today? Him, but who is the best driver is really who it matters. <laughs> Jimmy Johnson. Jimmy Johnson's a good driver. Uh, Mark, Mark Martin. Johnson would be the Mark best. Martin's a good driver. <laughs> yes. But guess who the most popular driver, money wise, who spends more on memorabilia, shirts, hats, but you know, Junior. That's right. But that's right. Now, that's right. And I'm not going to say a whole lot to this because people can read between the lines. <laughs> when I was at Talladega <clears throat> with my little girlfriend Mary, and we were in the middle of Junior Nation. They drank a lot, <laughs> and I don't know if it's so much that they thought he was a good driver or that they were just having so much fun they, they didn't, didn't care. Know. <laughs> they didn't know. So, well. you know, we were sober and we were rooting for Kyle, Kyle Busch. Bush. Kyle Busch. Well. And, and were you you were there, right? You yeah. saw the wreck with, um, mm -hmm. oh my God, that was right in front of <laughs> us where we were sitting at the end. And yeah, it was that so was it was scary. we were like over at Talladega. That one. is like the wreck yes. track. Yes. That's the big one. Always yes. happens. And yeah. poor thing, he gets out and runs across the finish line. Now you got to give him kudos for that. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I am going to finish. That's but the it, one that has a good attitude. Yes, yeah, he yeah. does yes. have a good attitude. And, and like me and Courtney were just sca like we were in turn one on the big scaffold, and we like we turned us to see who won. 
and all of a sudden we see Carl in the air and we think yeah. we thought he was like dead. I know. <laughs> I know. We were scared. And yeah. see my my friend Mary that went with me, she'd never been to a NASCAR race before. And so we're right there and this wreck is just happening in front of us, you know, and she's like, Oh my god and I was like, I think he's dead. <laughs> yeah. I mean I I just was so scared, yeah, you know. And then all of a sudden he gets out and he takes off running and I was like, you go, dude. I, I really think he has a good attitude. He does he have does. a good attitude. Yeah. So his yeah. karma should be good for yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he does have a good attitude. But you know what? I can't. When is the last time he got to do a backflip for us? A while. It has been a while. Yeah. We were in Atlanta yeah. the day he won his first NASCAR race, and I, I will never get over. <clears throat> he did his backflip, and then he said, if my mom hadn't worked three jobs, I wouldn't be here today. Yeah. And I thought that was the most awesome yeah. statement. He's yeah. a good guy. He's a good guy. He's, He's a, a good, good guy. guy. So. Well, little old Mark Martin, when we were at the... Uh, we love Mark Martin. Uh, you know, poor old fella. We lost it. We lost it again. Hey, guys. Um, boy, what, what a wonderful memory. What great laughter. What beautiful smiles. It is amazing to get to be able to visit with my daughter through video and to be able to share those happy days with you, you know. I never dreamed that she was going to be facing something like she faced. I never dreamed that she would end her life. I never, ever thought that the problems were as bad as um, she perceived them to be. And sadly, it was um, something I just didn't see happening. And we all are saying we didn't see this COVID coming in. We didn't see it taking our loved ones' lives. We didn't see this. And we are seeing reality. The reality is we can't do anything about it other than pray and um put everybody on your prayer list. I just got a message from Ashley and she has a couple of friends in ICU and there are young moms with children and you think about that, you know, you think about young dads with children. They want to get home to their children. So we need to start the biggest prayer chain in the world and we need to pray for everybody battling COVID. We need to pray that everybody can come back through this. We need to know that we are going to survive this. This is one of the toughest things I have ever seen and it just keeps attacking and attacking and attacking. So please um, be cautious, be careful, be wise, but don't, don't stop living your life. And, and that's one thing I do refuse to do. I refuse to stop living my life. Although I am stopping, I'm not being around a lot of people and I'm not, you know, I'm being cautious. But when we were talking this morning, um, last year, Leah's husband had had a massive heart attack. He came through that. He had major surgery. Leah had COVID and she is an avid runner and she said, I thought I was going to die. I actually thought I was going to be leaving this earth because of COVID and she made it through that. But we are not guaranteed tomorrow. And so as you look at today's life, if you woke up this morning thinking, oh, I didn't really want to get out of bed wake up thinking lord thank you for letting me get out of this bed and thank you for being able to do something for somebody else and thank you for letting me stand out there at the school bus and wait with my kid for him to get on a bus and go to school thank you for every little thing you give us we need to be thankful i think often we forget that we have to be thankful for everything because it is all from him and we need to understand that. And um, sadly, when, when we lose lives of the young people, like I know so many young people now have lost lives, and you just think, oh my gosh, why did this happen? Well, it is in God's perfect plan, and we have to accept that. So right now, we have a picture of an 80-year-old who just celebrated a very special birthday. He's a very, very special man, and many of you in Jasper know him. You love him. You ate a whole lot of meat that he cut at the Blue Star grocery store. And then at um, the Blue Star, again, down in the new facility, he worked for the Lawson family for many, many years. And then he and his beautiful wife, Juanita, bought the Blue Star. Happy, happy 80th birthday to Tom Wilkie, one of the sweetest, kindest, dearest men in the world. And he is celebrating a very happy 80. And sadly, you got to see a few minutes ago his beautiful wife, Juanita, who has gone to be with the Lord. She was on the program with Dub Lawson when we visited Lawson Chevrolet. So um, it's really, really tough. Can you see if you can fix that? Yeah. Okay. We've, uh, it, it's so weird, y'all. We, we just don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. And, and you think about it. Um, I had COVID, and it was rough. 
but I had the shingles and it was much, much harder and it was much harder to heal and it took six weeks and it was terrible. We all are facing so many different things, but we've gotten through it and we have to thank God for that. So I'm so thankful. I'm so blessed I get to spend more time with Riker. I was so afraid that I wouldn't be here for him and I certainly want to be. So, you know, we have to accept what God is bringing and we have to handle it the best way we can and that's through prayer. So let's, let's start the biggest prayer chain in the world. Okay, Tim, are we going to go to Jennifer Brantley or are we going to go to Riker John? <laughs> let's go to Riker John. Okay, everybody needs a little dose of Riker John. And uh, Riker John in the kitchen is about as much fun as you will ever have. He is an absolute blast. And tonight is Tuesday night. You'll get to see a new video because we're going to be cooking again. I don't know what we're going to be cooking tonight, but we're going to cook something that he can put his hands in. So, all right, here we go. See if you can get that monitor up because I can't tell when things start and stop. There was something on the We're put bread pudding in on the back. See this? You coat it in butter. Yeah. See, you can touch it. Woo! That's butter on your hand now. Okay. All right. <laughs> You got butter on your hand? Oh, now we got a problem. Okay, we got butter on your hand. This is the simplest bread pudding and it is so yummy. And we're gonna start, Riker, I want you to, no. wait a minute, I'm gonna help you hold it. No. Okay, you're gonna crack the egg, crack it again. Okay, wait, gotta crack on the side one more time. Good boy, crack it again. <gasps> it's coming, okay, now look. You did it. Oh, you did it. You can touch it if you want to. Okay, here you're gonna do one more. One more. One more. Okay, crack it. Crack, crack. You crack till you hear it pop. There you go. You heard it pop. Now we're gonna get it. Oh, be careful so the shell doesn't go in there. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna show everybody. Look, one of them busted and one of them didn't. See, but that's okay. Now. You're gonna stir this. Can you stir this like this for Nanny? <laughs> stir, 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 stir. I'll touch it now. You can touch it now if you want to, because you're gonna be eating this, so that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. You can touch it now, okay. No, no. Okay, now, now listen, okay, to this, Riker, look, this is a cup. We're gonna add some sugar. <gasps> look it now. Now you stir it now. Oh, how cool is that? Look. Stir and stir, and do you remember that Uncle Tim got you this bowl for your birthday? Did you know that? Yeah. Okay, now look. <gasps> Nanny helped you get the sugar in there really, really good. Now, wow. look at what we're gonna do now. Nope, no. Let me tell you what we're gonna do now. Wait, we're gonna put bananas in there. Yeah. See the bananas? Yeah. Okay, now you're gonna stir the bananas in. Can you do that? Oh. Oh, you can do it. Yeah. You got it? Ooh. So we have eggs, sugar, bananas. How yeah, about that? I'm good. Is that cool? Yeah, I'm good. You're good at this? You're yeah, really good yeah, at this? I'm very good. You're really good at this. Okay. And now, Nanny me... is going to give you, let me show you this. Hold that down. Hold it down. We're going to give you silk, vanilla, almond milk, 80 calories. And there you go. There's that. Okay, now gently. Stir, as Nanny adds it, you stir gently. Stir, stir. Wow, okay, keep cool. it in the bowl. Very okay. cool. Very cool? Yeah. Keep it in the bowl. Wow. Okay, you got it in the bowl? Yeah. Now, let me show you the magic. Yeah. We're gonna trade Riker's bowl for Nanny's bowl. And in Nanny's bowl is the spurtle that you love. Let me tell you what I this is. I this will. is condensed milk. And we're gonna add Riker's ingredients to Nanny's condensed milk. And then it gives us more room to put the rest of the milk. And we're gonna put just a little bit more. Okay, can you stir that up now? And I'm gonna teach you a lesson that my mommy taught me. I want you to smell this. Can you smell this? Yeah. Doesn't it smell good? Yeah. Vanilla smells so good, but you know what vanilla tastes like if you put it in your mouth? Yeah. It's not good until you mix it with food. If you just taste it by itself, it's terrible. Yeah. It's terrible. Are you getting it? Get the spurtle and just stir, stir, stir. You're doing a great job. We have to get all the condensed milk off the bottom of the bowl. 
Yeah. You're doing really, really good. Thank you. Now, let me tell you about this. This is an apple cake that Nanny bought at the store, and it was not yummy. It was dry. So, Nanny created this recipe using the dry cake because you've got to doctor a dry cake. You mix it. Now, hold your spurtle down in there, and you just do this. Yeah. Can you do that? Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. Keep stirring. Can you do it? Yeah. Yeah. You want me to help you a little bit? You go ahead. I'm going to get a spoon so I can also help you. Yeah. Let me get a... She did. She did help me. I'm going to help you. Yeah. Hannah's going to help you. Bam, 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 bam. 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 Did you watch... Emeril Lagasse, he says bam, bam, bam. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to be Emeril Lagasse's helper? No, I'm going to it now. Yeah, now. Do you want to try this spoon? Yeah. Uh-oh, wait a minute, we're losing some. Okay, we're going to add a little bit more milk. More. See that? That's almond milk. It's vanilla almond milk. Okay, is that cool? Yeah. Now, we're not going to stir it too much because we don't want it to get mushy, okay? Is that really cool? Yeah. Now, let me show you this. Okay, hold tight. I'm going to put the nuts in, and then I want you to stir up. These are candy pecans. Yeah. Can you stir all that up? Eat this. Can you do that? Eat this. Put your spurtle down in there. Stir, stir, stir. We want to get the pecans eat all it. the way through it. Eat it. Can you do it? Yeah, we'll eat it. And a little bit after we cook it. Your daddy loves this. I eat a nut. Your daddy loves Yo, you'll eat a nut. Your daddy loves this. Wow. I'm done. Daddy loves it. I'm done. Is it done? Yeah. It's almost done. I believe it. A little bit more cake we're going to put in there. A little bit more. And a little bit more milk. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. And a little bit more milk. Ooh. Now see how simple this was, Riker? Yeah. What do you think of this? Yeah. Think you're going to like it? I think it's going to be exciting when it comes out of the oven and Riker made it. How cool. Oh, all okay. day. Can you say spurtle? Shoulder. Spurtle. Yeah. Jen gave us that spurtle for Christmas. Did you know that? Yeah. Jen gave it to you. Okay, now, Nanny's gonna pour half of it in this pan. Let me take it up. And I'm gonna, because when you make like, pudding, you make it to share with neighbors. Yes. So, hold still, that's got butter in the pan. So we're gonna make some for us and some for neighbors. And that's what you do, you share. Yeah. That's how you're that supposed to be a good neighbor. I it. You can touch it if you want to, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What do you think of that? Oh, a milk. Wow, what do you think of that? Like milk. Now, hang tight. Nanny's got to get a knife. Hold tight. and don't put your hands all over it. Let's get a knife and let's put a little bit of butter. Look, we're going to dollop. Okay, here. Can you put the butter in there? Put the butter on top of it. Okay. Now, here's more butter. Get the butter and just put butter here and there. Just a little better here and a little better there. It's good, like that. Like that. Like that. I'm packing this. I think that's plenty of better. I'm okay. packing. No, yeah, it's good. Okay, now can we show everybody? And we're gonna put this one in the oven and we're gonna cook it for about 25 minutes on 350. And an egg shell. Yeah, we're not gonna put an eggshell in it. Can you tell people what this is? Bread pudding. Can you say bread pudding? Yeah. Bread pudding. Bread pudding. Yeah, so there you go. There's Riker's lesson with bread pudding. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your blue 
Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation 770-345-2000 or go online to georgiamtc.com. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories, writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. ATC knows the internet is evolving, taking new twists and turns as we add our input, make our choices, and follow the light that connects us all. It's quite a journey, one to experience with the fastest speeds available. Contact ATC. Connect to the internet speed that suits your journey. And enjoy the ride. Right, Mr. Bill Vornick. Bill Vornick's produced Allison Krauss. Oh, and wow. Bela Fleck and Ralph Finney. Mm -hmm. And so he, these are good writers. Mm -hmm. So 
Yeah. And the inspiration for that mm -hmm. was my nine animals. <laughs> Really? Yes, I do. I have nine. <laughs> wow. Now, how, how, just because their love and, and all that, you know, was that the inspiration, what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, just, you know, let's say you had a really bad day to right. come home, and the first thing is my dog, Sadie, mm -hmm. would be there wagging her tail, and she's all excited, and right. you just can't help but be happier when you see them. Oh, absolutely. I have a, a lab that I adopted, oh. and... She actually goes to work with me every day. Oh, really? My mom loves that. Oh, yeah. Like a therapy dog? Or? No, no. <laughs> well, yeah, she's my therapy. <laughs> but, no, she. I just take her to work with me every day, and she's five years old Aww. now. But I feel like a rock star would, when I come in, you know, because she's like, oh, Mom They're is so home. So, yeah, home. no, exactly what you yeah. mean. But that's incredible. You have nine. Are they yeah. adoptables, or did you? They're all rest. That's uh, so, good. You know, I just, I mean, there's nothing wrong with going out. I want a West Highland Terrier someday, which mm -hmm. I will probably have to buy. Yeah. But there's nothing like going and rescuing an animal. Right. And it, they're just, they're great. They're all very special little creatures. So. And they know <laughs> that they've been rescued, it seems. I, I think they So do. they make much better pets. Yeah. <laughs> now, what is it that you do for cancer? Well, um, I work in OBGYN at Vanderbilt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... So you're not um, only pretty, you sing, oh, and then you're, you're also in the medical profession. <laughs> I want to be in the medical profession one day, it's too. It's a good profession, mm -hmm. and it's very similar to music in that you, um, you're you always with people, you care for people, mm -hmm. and um, it's a good thing. It really is, um, especially, uh, you know, OB and GYN, yeah. sing all the babies. And yeah. <laughs> So. Wow. So they get you singing in the hospital sometimes? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. um, they have a program called Music Cares, and uh, it's a volunteer program. You go to the hospital and you play for people. It's mm -hmm. a very good program. It was started in New York. Wow. So. Do you write most of your stuff? Yes, I do, and mm -hmm. I include other writers. Mm -hmm. um, I did on my last CD, and recently the next song I'm going to do was written by a good friend of mine, Jerry Foster, who just got the Lifetime Achievement Award in Nashville. He's had That's 500 amazing. songs recorded mm -hmm. by other artists. Oh <laughs> so my gosh, wow. I mean, it's hard to just get one, much less 500. 500, you know, absolutely. So, so this yeah. is your husband this that plays husband, with you? David so Dan. did you play together and then the sparks flew or uh, you got the sparks <laughs> and then you're like, oh, you play guitar we, too? Yeah, we met in a studio in Mississippi mm -hmm. um, and um, ended up moving to Nashville and uh, he, David helps me write and uh, more more with licks on the guitar, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so um, and takes care of the nine animals. <laughs> no, he he does a good job. Yeah. yeah. What a joy to get to see my daughter smiling. What a joy. The little things today, as you go through your day, please think about the little things in life that mean so much to you. When I watch Riker cooking, uh, that's such a sweet, precious memory. When I see my beautiful daughter smile and when I see Freddie sitting there long before the days of all the things he's having to deal with, when I see those little tiny things, it means so much. So today, y'all, when you get out, I don't care if you're out in your yard and you're gardening or whatever you're doing, you just think about the little things and know that the little things are going to get us through those days. Have a great, great day. Take care of somebody you love. Do something for somebody you love. And more than anything, take care of yourselves. Please take care of yourselves. Stay healthy, stay happy, and I will see you again soon, only on ETC. You gave me a different point.